بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک آئیڈینٹیفائی اینڈ امپلیمنٹ اپروپریٹ ویژولائزیشنس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ رپورٹس دیر آر ملٹیپل ویژولائزیشنس اویلیبل ان سائڈ آف پاور بی آئی اینڈ ایف آئی کنسیڈر دا کسٹم ویژولس وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ان اے لیٹر ویڈیو then the number of visualizations which are available inside the power bi environment are the hundreds of visualizations so it is important to first identify and then up implement the visualizations based on what you want to show in a particular visual so let's have a look at some of the visualizations which are available inside the power bi native visual environment so the first family that is available or a set of visuals which is available belong to the bar chart family which are usually used for static comparison so by static comparison i mean that if i want to compare uh, in case of our uh, data set that we are using if i want to compare the sales between my regions then this could be a very good visualization of uh, the bar chart there are certain different variants of the bar chart which we are going to have a detailed look in the next video next we have the line chart and some of the other visuals which belong to the line chart family this visual or these visuals are usually used to show trends over time so whenever you have time involved in a visualization then the best way to actually represent that data is on a line chart there is another visual inside of power bi which is called as a ribbon chart which kind of combines the functionality of the bar chart and the line chart as you can show the comparison as well as the trend inside a ribbon chart but there is a limitation that you cannot actually show uh, many uh, categories inside this if you want to show many categories then this uh, chart can become cluttered but we are going to have a look Uh, at how the lie the ribbon chart works if you have a scenario where you want to show part to whole where you want to show a certain part out of a out of the whole distribution then there are there are certain visuals like donut chart pie chart and tree map that can be used in certain scenarios the static comparison using bar chart can also be used in the part to whole we are going to have a look once we are Uh, once we discuss the bar chart so whenever you are trying to show a part to whole scenario where you are trying to show some kind of a ratio or a percentage then these visuals are important that you should use any of these visuals then there is another visual which is called as a combo chart which is used to show comparison as well as correlation so correlation is actually a measure of similarity so if you have a scenario where you want to show the similarity then a combo chart can be used to show that similarity as well but it it can only be shown uh, with the comparison so if you want to just show the correlation then there is another visual that we are going to talk about in a bit then there is a funnel chart visual which is usually shown which which is which is usually used to show the sequential flow of a process so if you have a process like you have a marketing funnel or you have a sales funnel then at every st every stage of the of that funnel you have certain uh, numbers so the best way of actually showing those numbers is through a funnel chart in most real world examples you are actually trying to show the progress of any process or any kpi or any metric you want to show the progress towards a goal or a target so you can do that using a gauge chart or a kpi chart and also you can use the card visual for this particular uh, for this particular application then we have a waterfall chart which can be used to show changes over time or across different categories so remember once we were talking about dax we had certain certain time intelligence measures and i said that we have month over month change year over year change so if you have certain 
scenarios which are similar to that and you want to show the difference or the changes over time then you can show the waterfalls uh, through the waterfall chart similarly if you want to show the different categories and the difference between them then waterfall chart can also be used for that particular purpose another very important visual is the scatter chart which can be used to show relationships between two numerical values so this is kind of the same thing that i talked about once i was talking about correlation so if you have two relate two numerical values or two measures and you want to show if there is any relationship between those two measures then you can use a scatter chart patterns in large sets of data for example by showing linear or non linear trends clusters and outliers can also be shown on a scatter chart so if you have a large set of data and you want to highlight certain clusters you want to show certain trends or you want to see if there are certain outliers in the data then this scatter chart is also very helpful next we have a few map visuals which are used to show the geographical data on a map so you can show the geographical data in the form of a point or a bubble or you can also show this in the form of of a particular highlighted area so we are going to have a look at the map visuals in another video then lastly we have certain ai visuals where ai is artificial intelligence these visuals use the artificial intelligence to generate certain insights about the data so we are going to have a look at some of the ai visuals as well so let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see where we can find these set of visualizations so here in the power bi desktop environment in the report view this is the area where you can see all of the native visuals of power bi and if i just click on this gallery here and expand this then here you are actually seeing the the categories that we just had a look so these are the different visuals the which correspond to the bar bar and column then line and area then waterfall funnel and scatter similarly we have pie donut and tree map then we have maps then gauge card and kpi then the slicer visual which is uh, again uh, we have talked about it earlier which is uh, the same functionality as we have in the filter pane then the standard table visual that we have been using and lastly we have the ai visuals that i just talked about then you have certain visuals which are used to integrate with some of the other applications so here the r visual allows you to run r script similarly python visual is used to run the python script then paginated reports and then the um, visuals for power apps and power automate and scorecards so we are going to explore all, uh, most of these visuals in the subsequent vis uh, videos and uh, you should be familiar with uh, with all these visuals because these are the native visuals then if you want to add more visuals then those can be also added as part of the custom visual so we have a dedicated video related to the custom visuals and we are going to talk about the custom visuals in that particular video so this was all about the different visuals which are available and in what scenario you should be using what kind of a visual so that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next one